Downtown TJ Brown has 13 finishes in 14 wins, four in the very first minute. The ultra-aggressive featherweight has Hulk hands and a boa constrictor squeeze. He's going for five in a row in his UFC debut Saturday in Norfolk. We go all the way back to Brown's third fight, surprisingly only in 2015. TJ stays busy and here facing Latrall Don Dada, Purdue, with a dicey one and seven record. Opening seconds, TJ Brown kick to the butt gets Purdue's attention. Brown backs him up as Purdue shoots. Easily stuffed as Brown's first knee connects. Opponent gives up the back and TJ sees his destiny like Big Country Nelson at hometown buffet. TJ Brown wraps up the rear naked choke in just 33 seconds. The West Side Fight Team disciple loves to work quick and aggressively like a dog on a bone. Get ready for more swift savagery. Now moving to 2017, TJ Brown at 8 and 4, coming off another first round RNC. Kevin the Cannibal Henry looking for his first win? Better protect that neck, son. Glove touch and we're rolling. TJ counter right to the temple and Henry crumples. Hammer shut the lights completely off and your boy has a KO in eight seconds. No analysis needed for TJ Brown's ninth victory. He now has six first round stoppages, three inside Uno Minuto. TJ still ironing out his game, but one thing's certain, those hands are deadly. Brown would lose his next fight getting choked out in round one. Now aiming to fix mistakes versus eight and one Peter Barrett. Presently a 2019 contender series winner. A decision win though, so Dana said no. Early going, you know TJ's ready. Stiff jab to Slippery Pete's chin. Follows up with a body kick, then catches the kick. Tries to kick the leg right out from under him, but instead circles around and muscles him down. Later in round one, downtown spreads him out and pours down the ground and pound. I thought he had the chance to finish, but maybe wanted to conserve energy? Now Barrett back up, but looks dazed. TJ supermans the punch, landing clean. Follow up spinning elbow, but Barrett half blocks it. Round two here, Brown draws out the hook for the double leg slam into half guard. Moments later, easy pass, looking to take the back digs the hooks in and spreads them out yet again. Real heavy ground and pound, but Barrett survives. On to round three, opponent telegraphs the attack and TJ takes advantage. Seconds later, moves into side control. Barrett leaves the arm in the breeze and Brown moves in for the kill. Sinks in the arm triangle choke and you're done, son. TJ Brown delivers an impressive all-around beatdown to get to 10 and 5. First time we see him wade into deep waters and he kept up that pace. The overall ground game, asserting the takedowns and keeping it down with some dynamic grappling. TJ got finished in the first round his next fight and all footage is lost. Now looking to get back to the win column against 8 and 18, Edwin Williams. Early action here, Brown feeling Williams out. Short right stuns him, stalks him for a second, then lines up the kill shot. Right leg cemetery. TJ Brown does his best Valentina Shevchenko impression, dancing to 11 and 6 overall. That's his fourth finish inside one minute, looking like a beast in all facets of MMA. Downtown looking to go streaking versus 5-5 five and five, CJ Ground Shark Hunter. Coming off a first round triangle choke. 15 seconds in, leg kick from Brown as he dodges the straight. Hunter comes back with a nice combo, but TJ great level change to get the slam and regroup on the ground. End of the frame now, but TJ still controlling. Big shots from the top open up the guard. Brown steps out, then flies back in with a vengeance. He works over the guard into mount, then passed it for the arm triangle. Moments later, Hunter is counting sheep. Downtown TJ Brown earns his 12th victory, 8th in the first frame. He tapped him out with 10 seconds to spare, hastily passing and working in that head and arm choke. 
third fight of 2019, now in LFA, facing 8-4, Ken the Bull Beverly, fighting out of Viper, Kentucky. 30 seconds in, kick caught by Brown, then lands a nice right before tripping him beautifully into side control. Now Beverly back up, but Brown separates for the uppercut, left hook following. Brown reloads the left and almost clotheslines him down, but Beverly does not want to mess around on that mat. Seconds later, head kick sends him to the underworld. Oh my sweet Jesus. TJ Brown explodes for another highlight reel KO, giving him his 13th dub and second head kick KO inside a minute. Brown was then awarded a contender series shot and tapped out Dylan Lockhart. Now debuting in the big show Saturday, 229, facing 17 and 7, Jordan Griffin at UFC Norfolk.